Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Nobody gonna do for you. Pull the trigger. So uh, that that was something that that obviously was very close to my heart to see. You know, it feels like home. You know, to see that that many people speaking my language and. Uh, it was great. Obviously, I'm going to see a lot of them on the, uh, over the weekend, and hopefully we can have a good time. Thank you. I have a question for Roger. Um, so next year you get to go against and play in front of your home country. That must be very exciting, but obviously with your age, things are getting on and talk of retirement. How do you see the Labor Cup, uh, your role in it, going forward over the coming years as you're one of the organizers? Well, um, number one, I hope I qualify as long as possible. And if I don't qualify anymore, I hope I get a pick from time to time from my man over here. Um, that's why I'm always very nice to him. No, but we get along well, so that's not the problem. But uh, I'm very happy to pack up and uh, give my spot to somebody else if I, I wouldn't deserve it anymore. And of course, when I retire, things will change. And I honestly, I don't know how I will be involved in the Labour Cup or not. Uh, you know, of course, if you see uh, the camaraderie that um, you know John and uh, Bjorn have, uh, you wish that maybe one day you can also be doing something like this as a captain or a coach. And um, you know, I that was the idea behind the Labour Cup is to, to bring all these different generation of uh, tennis players together so everybody can have a good time, learn from one another. And if I can be involved down the road, sure, I'll be I'll be very happy. But of course, now looking ahead also to Geneva next year when the Labour Cup's going to go there in my home country. Um, that was not the idea actually to have uh, the Labour Cup in my home country. It just happened that uh, this European city with Geneva where I've played some, uh, some really big matches in the past has a big appetite for tennis and they tried really hard to get the Labour Cup and I was like yes absolutely if we could make that happen that'd be beautiful and um, there is a chance clear that I can still play there next year. So I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just thrilled that it's Geneva and I'm thrilled for the Labour Cup that it's doing so well and I'm so happy that everybody, all the players um, have shown up and, uh, and are ready to, to give it all they have. Yeah, last couple. Another question for Novak. Hi, no, hi Novak here. Uh, uh, so in the US Open Championship press conference, you mentioned you climbed the mountain with your wife after the French Open. And, so, and something great will happen after you climb that mountain. And so I'm curious, uh, how did you spend your last two weeks after US Open champion and did you climb another mountain? <laughs> Well, I climbed the, uh, the mountains uh, of toys of my children <laughs> over the last week, um, ever since the New York, and spent a lot of time, quality time with kids. Obviously, uh, Roger knows a thing or two about having uh, four children. I have two, and it's uh, hands full, and it's uh, the most beautiful thing. So. Um, you know, life, life, life goes on. Obviously, I'm very proud of the, the achievements that I had in the last couple of months and it's been an amazing journey. But at the same time, you know, when, when I get home, I have, you know, different role and I have to put the record aside and that's, that's a beauty. It balances things out. So it gives more, more meaning to, to everything. Um, the this is for Roger. Um, the doubles could be the decider in this. Why the importance on doubles and how important is that to singles players and will you guys play together? I mean, I would like to play with Novak. I hope he feels the same way. But uh, um, we're figuring it out as we speak. I think uh, internally, like, what are the best teams? Because we have a lot of singles guys on the team. Um, last year, also Rafa, he did play more doubles uh, than than us sometimes in the past. I haven't played doubles since last year, so I'm 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 firing. I won my match last year, so I I, I feel like I'm really confident from that match still. Um, but no, no, all kidding aside, we will be practicing our doubles this afternoon, John. In case you want to come watch that, because uh, is that okay? Yeah, I'd like to. No, I, I'm just I mean, what time? Um, it's I think from four to five. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing that. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. The doubles is going to be really crucial, as we saw last year. And I think they are, unfortunately, the favorites for all three matches in the doubles. And this is where we have to come up with a, with a couple of super teams ourselves. And as singles players, sort of melt together and say, like, okay, how are we going to do this? And thankfully, it's super tiebreakers and, um, you know, uh, super tiebreakers at the end and uh, no ad scoring. So I think it's going to keep it closer together and everything's possible. We just got to be super sharp and uh, having Novak on the team with his momentum winning the US Open for singles is key 
um, I think down the stretch maybe, but also in doubles uh, it's going to help because he is struggling a lot with the return lately. So don't <laughs> believe a word he's saying. Okay, he's trying to get simple. That's incredible. And Kevin, we're worried about his double. Kevin, a lot, a lot. You have a lot of pressure with John on the chair. Last year he was extremely aggressive. You know, to some of the players, like he was really firing them up. So I hope he can handle that because Bjorn is very relaxed and mellow. So we know what we're getting into. John. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, listen, we have to bring energy. We're it's going to be great fun. We're going to bring some energy. Thanks for being here. It's, uh, so yeah, much thanks fun. for coming. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it!